Hello, welcome to Emirates Channel. Today is a Sunday, 18 December, 2016. Our second pin Sunday. I will talk about how to look correctly with the Chinese technique. I have visited some table tennis clubs in France and Canada. The coach in these clubs doesn't know to teach the loop technique correctly. There are players that can't look correctly consistently even after two years of training. The player is ambitious enough to train hard, but the coach didn't teach a good technique. I pity to the player. I want to help you to loop, to power loop with the Chinese technique. But firstly, I will answer some of your questions. Jean Carlos has asked me, I am a modern defensive player. My equipment is the HS Hurricane 3 for the forehand and the Long People TSP Curve P1 for the backhand. Can you tell me some tips? Here is my video. Yes, I will give you a very good tip for a modern defensive player. When I give someone tips, I want that tips should be as simple as possible, as normally the best tips are the simple tips. For your backhand chop, you can tack the ball too high, so your ball is too high and can be easily attacked. So you should wait for the ball to rub lower and then chop the ball. Now you can add more spin to your chop and your return ball is lower and now it is now harder to loop kill your ball. Your timing is not correct. You hit the ball too high. You should wait for the ball to rub at your hips or lower and then chop it. Look at the way how you say hook chop the ball very loud. As you are the defender, you have time. Don't rush. Try to be as consistent as possible. Less error. Wait for the ball. If you chop too high, it is difficult to chop the ball in the table. As many other players, you don't fix the position of the ball. That means you don't know where you will hit the ball. You hit too soon. Wait for the ball. Fix the position when you hit the ball. This is the tip number 4 in my previous video. For your forehand, you have the same problem of timing. Just wait more a half a second and loop the ball. Now your ball's quality is much higher, more speed and more consistency, therefore less error. Also, when you loop the ball, don't loop in front of your body. Always look at the side of the body. More power and less error. So take time, wait for the ball, fix the position where you hit the ball. These tips will increase your shot's quality. Sintaro Okamoto has commented about Tenergy is not a tensor rubber. Yes, you are right, and I know that. Tenergy is high tension rubber, which is different from the tensor rubber of Chobani factory. But for simplicity, I put Tenergy next to the tensor, as everybody uses tensor rubber as the keyword search. Lorenzo Piccozzi is a true fan of table tennis. He, is, he has a natural attacking style with lots of top spin and counter top spin. He asked his coach what kind of blade he should buy. However, his coach was not variable to answer his question and proposed almost five or six different options of rubber and three different options of blade. So he asked me to give him a good equipment combo to stick for a long time. So I proposed him a good setup. It's not expensive and lasts long time. 
The plate you can buy a dimmable spirit, a very good light, powerful and spin. The rubber you can use the forehand donic blue 5 2 mm fast. It is a fast rubber. And for backhand you can buy the Raza 7 2 mm, a good feeling and spin. Truckers want to be the best amateur player and ask me for a good on round blade. He says, I got a carbon Tamka 5000 with Donic Platin Red and Black Side, but now I got a problem that I sometimes fall in my old play style. When I use my hips to get better forehand top spin, however, I don't get the ball on the table. So, I and Yu Xue Xi has proposed him to buy a Stiga Offensive Classic, and now he, his Joker said, Today I test it and I'm very excited already. Thanks for your answer and wish me luck that this speed will be perfect for me. Yes, you are right. Um, Tamka Kaban Blade is too fast for him and he is very happy with the on-round blade as the speed is perfect for him. Liam Nguyen shares his story about Chinese equipment. He changed from a PG-7 to a faster blade, Jinghe blade, but he found problem of looping close to the table. Liam Nguyen said, I play PG-7 with DHS Neo TG-3 forehand and Neo TG-2 for backhand. One of my coach in some table tennis forum advised me that PG7 is too slow and I need it to a faster blade. However, my, my loop is faster but my loop close to the table at out of the table more. However, I miss the linear, linear of the Chinese rubber as my forehand with new H3. It is very linear. So I clarify to Liu Nguyen that I want to clarify two things. Fast blade does not fit well with Chinese rubber. Don't upgrade the blade faster. Stick with one blade. PG7 is a good looping blade. With faster blade, you hit faster but you lose confidence. Without confidence, you can do nothing. Second, he asked me for the good backhand rubber and I proposed him a Raza 7 or rep evolution uh, also good. Raza 7 has better feeling, stick with it. Lim Nguyen also asked for a durable backhand rubber. I propose him the Raza and the Target Fox rubber. He also share his experience. He says, I know it is not right to choose a setup on another experience. I can see the problem of my setups, but don't know or quite understand the root cause of it till I watch your video. Your videos open my eyes and help me understand the fundamental of table tennis. Thank you very much, Liu Nguyen. Hope you enjoy, enjoy it and take your table tennis more fun. MMS has asked for half direct fueling Chinese rubber for his powerful forehand. He said, My forehand is very dominant. I want a rubber with a very hard sponge and tacky surface for a very clear and direct fueling to create a lot of power myself. I propose him to buy cheap Chinese rubber from LKT or 729. DHS rubber varies from patch to patch and have less old feeling of Chinese rubber. Colin Binzerian also proposed a Hurricane 3 for forehand, a super hard and tacky rubber, and double happiness G888 for the backhand, which give a very old school Chinese feeling. How to look and look kill the ball with the Chinese technique. Normally, we are taught in table tennis club to look the ball by the old technique. That means 
turn the forearm back, rotate around the elbow, follow through above the eyes like a military salute. So the elbow is the main source of force by folding the forearm. However, this old technique has three disadvantages. First, by using the elbow as your rotation axe, you can only loop the ball when the ball is high. You must close the racket to compensate the high ball, therefore you cannot add many spin to the loop. Second, the force from the elbow and the forearm is not strong compared to the hip, so it is difficult to loop kill the ball. If you hit hard and the ball is still high, the ball will mostly go out of the table. And third, this old technique doesn't incorporate the lower part of the body, but just focus on the elbow. So after the loop, you don't know how to move correctly, and then less stable, less consistent in your next shot. The Chinese technique is different. The elbow and the forearm should be relaxed. The main rotation axe is not the elbow, but it is your hip. You should rub the racket very loud and use your hip to generate the power. This way you can contact the ball very loud. You can also loop kill the ball as you don't need to close your racket. The Chinese philosophy about the loop is not how fast you throw your forearm, but Chinese coach emphasize on how well you do the weight transfer. During the loop, you should transfer your weight from right leg to left leg. This will add the power and increase the quality of your shot. Chinese philosophy concentrates on the lower part of your body. Do you remember my tips in my previous video? Use the leg to hit the ball. That is your leg will hit the ball. Your forearm is only a tool to transfer this force. By focusing on your legs, you can move faster. You are well prepared for your next shot. That is the main reason why Chinese players always win in the loop and counter loop situation as they know how to move efficiently and how to add power to the loop. By seeing this slow motion of Ma Long's loop, you can see that Ma Long mainly used his hip to loop his elbow and his forearm is very close to the body, and he didn't rotate his elbow anymore. This is the reason why the forehand of Ma Long is the best of the world, as turning, rotating with your hip is much faster and stronger than folding your forearm around the elbow. This is the way how Chinese players look kill the ball. Drop the racket as loud as possible. Move with your legs. Hit the ball at very loud position. Do weight transfer to look kill the ball. Rotate your hip to hit the ball. This way your ball is very loud and very fast. Don't focus on your elbow. Focus on your hip as a main fox axis. Liu Kuo is teaching Su Xin how to loop kill the ball. He asks Su Xin to loop a very loud and short ball. It is a very difficult technique. Su Xin is amazed by Liu Kuo technique. Who is your daddy?
you can see that Lu Kulu can easily look to Lao Bo as he contacts the ball very loud and he used the Lao parts to generate the power. In fact, there is no good or bad technique as table tennis techniques progress. If your technique works for you, it is your good technique. However, if Chinese techniques give you many more advantage, it's time for you to change your technique. Why not? That's it for today. Hope you enjoy table tennis with Coach Emrethic. The next Sunday is 25 December. It is Christmas. I wish you a very best Christmas with your family. See you, Coach Emrethic.